Things will get better when you're back in the swing of things, babe. You'll feel better. What? Don't forget this. All charged and ready to go. I'm a jerk. I don't know what I would do without you. Probably just download another mom off the internet. Now get going. How's the book coming? It's not. Steve asked me for a divorce. Get out. Huh. He's marrying the cheerleader. She's not a cheerleader. Huh. She's 26, but according to Steve, she's one of his best reporters. Huh. Has she ever seen him drunk? I don't know. I don't care. I haven't told Chris yet. He keeps hoping that we're going to get back together. Does the skill know he's been depressed? He doesn't want him to know, so I said he has mono. I mean, he's got to go back or he's going to fail his junior year. And I can't keep making excuses, missing deadlines. Of course not, honey. You know, you need to start spending time on yourself. Teenage love's a killer. But we lived through it. And speaking of getting through it... No. Yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. I love you, Lenny, but I'm not going to troll <laughs> cougar bars with you. My luck, I'd meet some wacko. Hey, I don't troll. I prowl. Attention all girls interested in playing club or semester. 25 school homicides in one year. Nation students are killing each other. Oh, it makes you wonder if we did the right thing dispensing with, with uh, corporal punishment. So what can I do for you, Mrs. Stewart? I'll get right to the point, Mrs. Overbert. Chris did not have mono. He's actually been depressed. His first girlfriend recently broke up with him. Most students are depressed, Mrs. Stewart, one reason or another. Try and get Chris refocused on his education. All this melodrama wastes their precious energy. I suspect it also leads to a lot of that violence. <clears throat> Coach Brody. How are you, Mrs. Stewart? Chris returned to school today, so he'll be at practice. Mrs. Stewart. I was hoping that you could show him a little extra patience till he gets up to speed. You know we've got the annual meet in Republic six weeks away. This team is really important to Chris. But with all due respect, ma'am, Chris has missed too many practices now in competition. A track team is only... You can do it. You tell Chris he better bust his butt. Your daddy sees how beautiful you are. launch party for Dead Risen. I've been trying to beat that sucker 24-7 every night since. Dude, speak English 24-7 every night? Well, see, my mom's doing her night school thing again, so I'm hiding my controllers. I mean, she hides them when she goes out, so I figured, why not hide them from her first? <laughs> She's, like, tearing up the place, yelling, Cameron and Daryl, hand over those video thingies! And I'm like, Mom, did you figure out where you hid them again? Move on, yo. Look, you know she's rubbing my face in them. Dude, she's rubbing your whole head in it. She's messing with your head, man. I know. I know. What do you want with that skank? I mean, she's probably got SCDs now. A bunch of them. Dude. Hey, come on. You guys want to chill after practice till my mom gets back? 
goes ballistic and rips a box out of the wall. Yeah, sure, whatever. Dude, I said whatever, come on. You'll be continuing with Dr. Bauer, state-appointed psychiatrist, avoiding drugs and alcohol. May I ask why you're forbidden to engage in relations with the opposite sex? I forget to do my homework when I have a boyfriend. Okay, so read these over, especially our rules of conduct. I run a tight ship. Welcome to Fairview Heights, Vanessa. <laughs> I don't want to get caught with that out here. They're gonna expel me on my first day. Wow, sassy. Nah, they'll just make you attend Mr. Gershom's tobacco diversion class. Believe me, that is way, way worse. Show you where you can smoke. No, I'm good. Here. Okay. Okay. Where are you from, transfer? Here, there. I've moved around a lot. My dad was in the army. Well, I'm Jake. Vanessa. Vanessa? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What do you say you and me go? Let's go for a school tour, huh? Oh, look what you just made me do. Ugh, I'll get it. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. I said I'll do it. OK. Hey, I'll be right back. You guys go ahead. I'll be right back. We need to go psycho. You OK? <laughs> <laughs> I look like you could use some help. Yeah, he wouldn't stop hitting on me. Yeah, that sounds like Jake. Okay, Thank you. Yeah, that no, was of really course. sweet of, of course, you. Of course. Right. Sweet and sexy. Hi. Hi. You're not so bad yourself. Sorry, I, I wasn't. Yeah, I, hey, that's what they're there for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually see anyone transfer midterm. I know, my parents decided to move. They didn't even ask me, middle of my senior year. Well, uh, um, I could show you around if, if you want. Uh, you probably have a boyfriend for that. I'm only a junior, actually, so. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Really? <laughs> but that'd be easy for you. So, not that you're easy, I was just, I just meant that that would pro that'd probably be easy for you to get a, a, a guy. I start here tomorrow. Uh, I go to this school. Awesome. Um, yeah, well, I've got a bounce, but I'll see you around, okay? Hey, funny guy. Any idea where I can find a tour guide around here? Yeah. Yeah, no, I have practice, so um, as soon as that's over. Oh. Um, never mind. It's over. No, 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 I want to. I really want to. It's just that um, I've, I've been sick, and I've missed a bunch of practices, and um, my coach would... <sighs> Yeah, who cares? I'm Chris. Chris Stewart. <laughs> Vanessa. Redland, two ends. <laughs> you stay right here. I have to get rid of these clothes. But you, you wait right here. I'll be right back. OK. okay. I'll stay right here. I'm not going to move. You, you can move. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> this door. And so then Jake's lawyer dad meets with the superintendent of the schools, and they just, um, they overrule Overbert. And the next thing we know, Jake's back in class, gets caught selling weed to freshmen. <laughs> He's an idiot. You see that cigarette that he has over his ear all the time? Like it impresses anybody. It doesn't. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, I, um, your turn. Hey, what does that taste like? Like vanilla always tastes. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Bland. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of. Sorry. <laughs> you have it everywhere. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs>
with any of the guys in Fairview. Just saying. <laughs> so do you get in trouble for missing practice? Uh, Cam will cover for me. He's my best friend. But him and Matt are my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you, Vanessa. But you have a girlfriend? No, no, I I'm girl free. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gay or anything. Not that I have anything <laughs> against gay guys. I had a girlfriend, Cheryl. Kind of dumped me. And Cheryl is really stupid. If I was her, I'd never let you go. <laughs> oh, crap. I got a piece for dinner. Right now? Yeah. I'm sorry. Can I walk you home? No, I'm good. I'm fine. OK. Um, OK. I'll, I'll see you at school, I guess. Yeah, I'll see you at school. OK, I'll see you at school. <laughs> OK. All right. Bye. better. Mom, you will never guess what happened today. I met the coolest girl. Really? Her name is Vanessa. She just started at my school. She's so cool and down to earth. Oh, ow, ouch. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a nick. Who could that be? Probably just selling something. I'll go check. Oh. I thought you were I'm locked out. <laughs> How did you know where I live? Who is it, Chris? Hi, I'm Vanessa Redlin, Mrs. Stewart. I forgot my key, and my parents are working late, so I was just about to ask Chris if maybe I could wait here. She's the one I told you about? Oh. Well, of course. We were just sitting down to dinner. Would you like to join us? <laughs> um, yeah, that would be awesome. Come on in. When did I tell you that? I don't know why, but she seems to genuinely like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're eating. Two for one day, bravo. Matt, we had pizza yesterday. You always want pizza. <laughs> Where do you see her? This kind of girl doesn't usually even talk to us. Actually. Yeah, yes. Chris. Hey. Hi. You must be Cam and Matt. I'm, I'm Matt, right? The Chris's good looking friend. This geek here is Cam. Two for one. Cam. Pizza. T -t -t two for one pizza at Bravo's. That sounds awesome, Cam. I'm starving. <laughs> hey, I hope hey. you don't mind me crashing. Of course not. Crash away, please. Dead. <laughs> they're funny. No, they're hilarious. They're idiots, though. <laughs> <laughs> I like Dude, them. They're racing to school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll meet you here after your last period? Um, no, I, I can't miss practice, actually. Is that her? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I don't do jealousy. Okay. All right, I have a makeup test this period. I get, okay, go. Yeah, I actually have to finish something, so. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming with me. All right, bye. All right, I'll see you. Stay away from Chris. Excuse me? <laughs> you heard what I said. You had your chance with him. Did you forget to finish getting dressed? If I see you near him one more time, I'm gonna smash a lead pipe in your face. Hello, Tina speaking. Vanessa Redmond? No, I've never heard of her. I just found this phone on the street.
He's different. I think you'd really like him. <laughs> His name is Chris. I miss you, Mom. Mohan shipped me off to Fairview. I didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> hey, yo, I got cops calling up my ass. Asking me a lot of questions about Kale. What kind of questions? I know he was gonna do it. Where'd he get the dust? Kale's mother told the cops it was me. Lou, chill out. Okay? This whole thing is gonna blow over. Mohan said that the cops don't know anything. Uh, I gotta get that bus, okay? Later. First day. Ugh, I am so ready to get out of here. Are you ready? <laughs> no, I have track practice, remember? Oh. Okay, well, I guess I'll be seeing you. You don't mind? <laughs> Where did you get all these? Um, I cut myself sometimes. Why? I don't know. It feels good. It feels good to cut yourself? It distracts me from other things, kind of. It's getting pretty late. We should probably... <laughs> Dude, I was totally kidding. I fell through a plate glass window last summer playing tag with my little brother, Kale. That's not funny. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that. <laughs> I thought you were crazy. Let's go. All right, I'll walk you home. <laughs> Then it's not like that. Chris knew he had a dentist appointment. He's a 16-year-old boy, Maddie. Cut him some slack. So is it tough being a foster kid? It is what it is. I don't feel sorry for myself. What happened to your real parents? Well, I never knew my real dad. And my mom couldn't afford to pay for two kids. So I was the oldest. She decided to keep Kale and give me up. At 16? No, at 10. Duh. I thought you said you were playing tag with Kale last summer. <laughs> Not Kale. Kyle. My little foster brother, Kyle. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm that way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> okay. I'll see you at school. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not Vanessa's fault her foster parents are dicks, Mom. Please, it's just for one night. I didn't even realize Vanessa lived with a foster family. 
Never mind. Still, that they'd lock you out is beyond me. Don't they watch the news? I doubt it. They're way old. They go to bed right after dinner. They only took me in so that the state would pay for their grocery bill. I guess I'll make up the spare room. Nightmare. Can I sleep here? She's there every couple of nights. You need to put your foot down. I've tried. Believe me, but I get distracted. And the next thing I know, Chris is there, saying she's locked out and has nowhere else to go. Maddie, your house is not a hostel. Why do you let these two kids push you around just like you let Steve? Hey. At least talk to the foster parents. <laughs> Was I okay? I just died and went to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever wonder what it would be like to die? I brought that on. I thought you said I was good. I mean it. I used to feel pretty bad when my dad came home drunk and shoved my mom around. 
I thought about dying sometimes. Not really, but just to get away, you know? My dad's a great guy, he just... He can't handle alcohol. What about you? I'm scared of living alone. Hey. Relax. Chris? What? Can't you knock? Why aren't you in school? I had that English essay that I needed to finish. And you, Vanessa? I wasn't feeling well this morning. Well, then you should have stayed in bed. In your bed. Chris, go put the groceries away. Chris and I don't usually entertain in our bedrooms. That's what the living room is for. Yeah, well, she doesn't have to be so mean and bossy. Why do you always listen to her? Because she's my mother, Vanessa. At least you have one. Chris, it's three o'clock in the morning. Mom, I got it under control. Vanessa's not tired yet. Uh, Vanessa, Mom. Chris needs to get up for school, Stop. so it's time to go to sleep. Stop. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Chris? M Mom! Good night. Bye, Mom. Thanks for making my sandwich. You treat me like I'm a little boy. It was 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm 16. I could run away. I could live with Dad. Chris, I apologize if Count you Count me out for dinner. Well, what time will you be home? Stop trying to control my life, Mom. Madeline Stewart, Chris's mom. The boy that Vanessa's been seeing, didn't she tell you? For about a month now. I thought I'd just call to say hello. I understand Vanessa's been with you since she was a little girl. I don't follow. How recently? Hey, cutie. Hey, babe. Where are you running to? Making up another test. English. Oh, skip it. Come celebrate my new job with me. I can't, babe. Wait, you got it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could make it worth your while. Three creams, two sugars. Memory like an elephant. Shall we sit? Yeah. 96 days without a drink. That's great, Steve. Good for you. So what's the crisis, Maddie? I'm having a hellish morning. My EA is sick. I need you to look into Chris's new girlfriend, Vanessa Redman. <laughs> you serious? Maddie, it's normal for boys this age to pull away from their mothers. Young girls are a, a pretty powerful hook. I am serious, and I need you to take it seriously, too. She is disturbed. Disturbed? 
The girl is monopolizing Vanessa's whole life is a fabrication. Everything she's told Chris is a bunch of lies. I had a long talk with her foster mother this morning. That's why I called you. Vanessa told Chris and I that she's been with this foster family since she was a 10-year-old. This family met her one month ago. Same day Chris and I did. She's some emergency placement from another district. Well, teenage girls are drama queens. Maybe she thought she sounded better if she had a stable family life. Does she sound better inventing a little brother named Kale? Someone who supposedly lives with her real mother? And her mother's dead. Do these foster parents feel we have anything to worry about? That's it. Other than what I've told you, they know nothing about her. They just get a bunch of red tape when they try to find her file. Leave it with me. You're a good mother, Maddie. Okay, big smiles, okay? Guys, over here, look. I really gotta go, babe. Okay, just 10 minutes, okay? I know I was gonna kill, babe. <laughs> so, this is where I work. <laughs> Sit. All right. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Hmm. Here. Where'd you get it? My foster dad's liquor cabinet. <laughs> What's your problem, dude? I don't drink. Okay. I told you about my dad. Stuff like that can be hereditary. Do you think you could break your rule for one night? No. Please. No, babe. It'd be fun. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't even taste it anymore. <laughs> I feel so good right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? Still see. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's a smell. It's just a smell. <laughs> Did you cut yourself? Give me your thumb. What'd you do that for? Your life's blood flows through my veins. For all time, we will remain like a vice that cannot bend. You and me until. That's pretty. What is it? It's a lullaby that my mom used to sing to me. We used to sing it together. Love me till you die, my love. Never leave my side. Now we're eternally bonded. That's beautiful. It was my dad's. 
He died when I was really young. I want you to have it. You're not gonna be sad anymore. Okay. I was worried sick. Are you drunk? No. I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna barf. Chris, you don't know what alcohol has done to this family. I hope you learned your lesson. I don't want you seeing Vanessa anymore. You can't do that. I'm 16. Besides, it wasn't even Vanessa who got me drunk. It was Matt and some other guys. Well, you're not going out tonight. It's not optional. Is that a wedding ring you're wearing? No. It was Vanessa's father's. And she gave it to you? Christopher, you don't Love even to know yak, her. Mom, but I'm going to be late. I've been calling you all week. Leaving messages, man. You should see yourself. You look like crap. Listen, bro, um, I really need to see your science notes again. Chapters 8 to 10. Go ask your girlfriend. Oh, hey, the coach told us to pass on the message. It's one more practice, man. You're off the team. Stretch it out now, ladies. One, One two, two, three, four, five. One, two. Well, well, well. Thought you dropped by for a visit there, Stuart. What do you say, fellas? Stuart here decided to honor us with his presence. Must be some kind of special holiday, huh? What are you, Santa Claus? <laughs> Easter Bunny? <laughs> no, sir. We gotta meet in eight days, son. Now this team's been working hard. Yeah. I'm ready to bust my ass, coach. Uh -huh. Well, let's see if you can still run that 440. So, make it up to me now. <laughs> okay, maybe I will. Let's see what you got. What do you got? Are you challenging me? That's a total challenge. <laughs> What's going on, Vanessa? Oh, hey, Chris. You know Jake, right? I need to talk to you. Come here. What was that about? It was nothing. You're hanging out with Jake Reardon and it's nothing? Jake really loves animals. <laughs> He wants to come and check out the pet shop tonight. I mean, you can't make it. Vanessa, if I blow off this practice, I'm off the team. All right, I come with you every night instead of doing homework. I skip class to be with you. I'm failing science. Do what you want. for my running. <coughs> Not that it matters anymore. <laughs> you could do anything to make me happy. I got kicked off the track team for you. Is that not enough proof? <laughs> Good 
It was open. What are you doing here so late? You found something out? Her real name was Vanessa Lynn Redman. Redlin was her mother's stage name. Her mother was a dancer, a good one. Sonia Lynn Redman. Uh, married an American, immigrated from Europe, and had Vanessa. Unfortunately, Sonia suffered from something called delusional disorder. And Vanessa's father eventually walked out on them. Sonia committed suicide. Vanessa was six and was put into the system. That poor little girl. Maybe. But your instincts were bang on. I did some digging. Guy I know works in mental health, and according to him, Vanessa suffers from similar issues to her mother. She's got some sort of death obsession. Is convinced that she can communicate with her dead mother. She's also a pathological liar. In the past 12 years, she's been through nine different foster homes all over the state. There's something else. There was a teenage boy in Vanessa's last home. Star soccer player, grade A student. His name was Cale Davis. Our imaginary little brother's name. Vanessa got involved with Cale shortly after she went to live with the Davises. Six weeks later, he committed suicide. Chris? Hey, Dad. What's going on? Can you come in here and sit down for a second, please? Yeah. What are you doing here? Your mom and I have something we need to tell you. Are you guys getting back together? It's about Vanessa, Chris. Boyfriend, my last boyfriend, 